by an oath. Come on. That by two immutable things is which is was impossible for God to lie. See? Impossible for him to lie. Right. Come on. We might have a strong consolation mm. who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Uh, which is what? What's the hope set before us? Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul. Hold on, I'm going to ask a question. What is the hope set before us? Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 Eternal life. Eternal life. Y'all can just say, sign up and then it the whole world will be alive. That's right. The fact that you got to have patience and rubble down there, man, this thing is alive. Dying up in this thing over 30 years. Jake brought Jake in them days, Jake, 33 years. Back in the early 80s, when it wasn't nobody out of Israel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Huh? Before YouTube, before Facebook, before internet, when you had this great put your work in for real, you had to go to the library, search through all types of books to buy right. masks and all that. Brother been buying uh, three decades. Patience. He could have been gave up. Mm -hmm. I waiting for all that. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting scratching it. You feel me? You look up next week, brother got a fez or a cookie on his head. You feel me? A young man in his early 20s. That's dust. Because he's a Lord and guilty brother. See how young he look? That brother, that brother, a half century. <laughs> See, they got our patience, though. Feel me? Could have been gave up. Could have been like later for all that. Things get slow. Sometimes all the work falls on you. That's what it's on. The Lord is faithful to reward those that endure. Whenever you feel like, ah, I'm about, I'm about ready to give up. I'm about ready to give up on praying. You realize this brothers that kicked this thing off here in St. Louis over 30 years ago. And they still banging for us. What you mean you tired? Right. I'm tired. <laughs> I just need to stop praying, brother. I just. Been <laughs> <laughs> in the screen, been in the script for years. Why are you ready to stop? <laughs> Make your call in the election sure. Right. Now, what you in this for? What you in this for some type of props? <laughs> Pat on the back? Huh? Oh, I can't mix. My boy was doing it, so I'm in this now. Uh, I don't matter. Your boy will go off. Right. See that? I chop up with these brothers several times a week. They got all type of stories. And y'all, we done kind of like, like turned the fire down. Y'all know we used to have a false prophet movie. That's right. The wall of shame. I was told we used to have a boy. Like we said, the boys out. We used to have a boy called the false prophet movie. And it's me, it's me and the fellow holding <laughs> crazy girls, man. We need with top four, we bring that back. <laughs> Verse 19. Yes, sir. Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the veil, whither the forerunner is for us entered, even Jesus, made an high priest forever after the order of Michael's That's the order you apply. That's right. No, the engine says Jesus. I will stop so for you to uh, not believe in him and to come in and believe in him and turn your back. Verse 4 through 6 says it's impossible. Right. right. I ain't saying you ain't going to make mistakes and you know, some of you may stumble across. I don't know how to break that down right there. Whenever you right. hit a roadblock, what you do is pray to the most high for the understanding. That's right. Right? And then give us some brothers that may have some understanding. Never think you just made shipwreck in your faith. You feel me? Damn, I don't understand that. Maybe it is made up. I always have in your mind it can't contradict itself, so the answer's in there somewhere. That's right. right. Exactly. See, that's the that's the mindset you approach the scriptures with. Right. You are not the scriptures. That's yeah. right. The scripture <laughs> ain't never. Right. You are not the scriptures. 
Right. I'm off somewhere. Right. 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 I'm trying to give us some right. 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 We call the brothers and see they ever ran across this before. Right. You see what I'm saying? And that's how you do that, man. It's the word of God. All right, let's get it. We going next. We going to Matthew 13. Matthew 13. Then we are gonna get into some prophecy. Just showing y'all the severity of this thing. Okay, and then even when we do the feast day, we even show through the feast of the Lord, pass over the first fruits, the Pentecost, the uh, the trumpets, the atonement, the tabernacle, the dedication. How it's all a foreshadowing of Christ. That's right. All of them. See that? We show that. So for you to be on some no, I don't believe in that. I mean, you told me done rejected the whole thing. Everything the most high done ordained because everything you read is talking about his sons. Serious thing. All right, let's get this. Matthew chapter 13. Hold on, brother. Matthew 13. We're going right to the soul. <laughs> Matthew 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthew 13, 20, verse 18. And then we're going to have to one read that. We've got to jump over to and explain it. All right, next we go to Matthew 13. Topic is certain men have crept in under words. Okay, brother. So understand, just because you sound here don't mean you're right. You may be a demon in the midst. That's right. When Judas right next to the Lord, there's always a Judas around him. There's always somebody up in her office. Just what it is. Somebody ain't right nobody. Somebody in her today off. So examine yourself. Understand what you in this for. That's right. You in this vain glory of men? Hey, you're in the wrong place. That's right. You're in the wrong place. They teach that down the hall. You in the wrong place. Right. All right, Matthew 13, bro. It's the 15th century. Matthew, Matthew, <laughs> chapter 13, verse 15. For this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. He spoke that's it. Isaiah chapter 6. The Messiah who you claim don't exist for no testament. Wow. Oh, did too. Right. Come on, brother. But bless all your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Come on. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, oh. and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear. And have not heard them. Think, think about that to be sitting down chopping it up with the son of the heavenly father. Right. Eating with him. Laughing with him. See what I'm saying? Drinking right. wine with him. Imagine that. That's what he's saying. Like, look, everything they were prophesying about, I'm right here with y'all. To, 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 to go through that, to a, even just to imagine that. Now, I can't even wrap my mind around it. That's right. I can't even wrap my mind around it. Man, that was the Lord himself. The Lord himself. <laughs> right. The Lord. And watch them do all this. I am. But blessed are those that believe in that and have not seen it. That's right. 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 Blessed come to us too. We all see them. We got the record. They come with us. They was right there with us. Right. 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 Come on, bro. Hear ye therefore the parable of the soul. Come on. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, and casteth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which receives seed by the wayside. See that? Come on, bro. But he that receiveth the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. See? So you know what that person you receive? Hey, with joy. Yeah, it's dog. This is like dog. Yeah. Right. Hebrew. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, bro. Yet hath he not root in himself. He don't got no root, though. A tree without a root is what? Hey. Yeah. 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 You heard it, but you enjoy you had joy at first, but you didn't have no root, no foundation. What seed are you? 
Come on, brother. But do it for a while. If he's doing for a while, he'll be around, he'll run out of gas quick. <laughs> See that? You gotta pace yourself in this thing, man. Don't get burnt out. Feel me? Brothers just want to go out in the streets every day of the week and teach them, like, look, I'm not stretching myself out. That's right. I can't stretch, I can't stretch myself and yarn what the Lord got me doing. I go out once a week, Lord. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going out every day. You got to pace yourself. You got to pace yourself. When you look out, you'll run out of gas. I think I see them brothers at the grocery store. They got some gas on it. What's wrong with them? Ain't it with y'all? or persecution arising because of the word, right. by and by he is offended. He is offended. You done ran into persecution, business persecution, tribulation. Huh? Uh, you walk out class today, boy. People can have all them uh, guillotines right outside the door. Huh? Sharpening them demons. That's right. <laughs> huh? Which one of y'all believe in this God, this Bible, and his son? Oh. Line up right on over here. Oh. Huh? Yeah. By and by he's offended. Or if he get a roadblock in the scriptures and he don't have to understand it, instead of coming to the brothers, you know, praying to the most high first and coming to the brothers, they may ask him to understand it. He's offended. That's right. He read something in the Old Testament, he could not see it. He didn't offend Oh, no, it's all offended. Drop the dick with him. Huh? Come on, brother. He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that feareth the word right. and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unproved. Like you're the word, but you caught up in mammon, material things. You think your whole existence is based off getting your money huh? or Facebook status. Huh? Then you hear it, but this material mammon chokes the word and bother you. You become a See that? Come on, brother. But he that receives seed into good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Which seed are you? Everybody can examine themselves. You either the seed that fell on good ground, amongst thorns, by the wayside, brothers feel completely off. Huh? On stony ground. Which one is you? Examine yourself. Make sure that you will see that fell on good ground. And you're bearing fruit out there. Alright? Keep reading, brother. Verse 24. Yes, sir. Another parable put he forth unto them, Come on. saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his feet. There go that seed again, right? And who know what a parable means? What's a parable? Somebody raise that. Who was a parable? Anybody know? A, a parable is a, a reference to something that you know already to, to, to understand it more clearly. Like they, right, were, they were sitting there building the field, so he was uh, comparing it to the field. Yeah, yeah so that's, that's a good answer. More, more like it's a physical story with a heavenly meaning. That's right. You see what I'm saying? It's something that you blew off. He always was showing them something that they were doing on the record in front of, such as for like you can see it. Right? But it had spiritual meaning to it. Is this unbelievers also? Huh? Is this unbelievers also? What? Per? Yes. 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 Unbelievers and believers. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's to get you to see what he was trying to get you to see. A spiritual meaning. That's right. Something you were doing all the time in front of you, such as for yep. Dropping seeds in the ground. Right? He used it and taught them about the kingdom of heaven. All right? Come on, brother. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the household that came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seeds in thy field? From whence then had it turned? You know what I'm saying? Why is it turned? Why is it bad food? You so good see what is bad crops or bad food come from. Mm, come on. He said unto them, An enemy had done this. Who did it? An enemy had done this. I've been tapping with my back. I've been tapping with my back. Come on, brother. The servant said 
unto him, Will thou then that we go and gather them up? Come on. But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root also the wheat with them. Uh -huh. Let both them grow together unto the harvest. And at the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. To what? To burn them. Come on. But gather the wheat into my barn. All right, now jump down to verse 34. Let's get to understand. Verse 34. All these things spake Jesus, Yahweh Shai, unto the multitude in parables. And without a parable spake he not unto them, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. Uh. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house. And his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the terrors of the feast. See, so let me ask the Lord questions. And that today, you, you, you can't question the Lord. You can't ask Pastor nothing. Why not? Just ask the, the Lord questions. Right. 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 He had to come into the earth and be the sacrifice. That's the prophecy. Right. Right. Come on, brother. The field is the world. The field is what? The world. Okay, so the Son of Man that sowed the good seed is Christ. The field is the world. Come on. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. The good seed are the children that will inherit the kingdom. Come on. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. Oh, the wicked one got children, I heard. Huh? <laughs> the wicked one. Huh? He got children out here. Those that are following his doctrine. That's right. 